Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Dominique Azel Massou. Hello, everyone. So, you have the chance to have two Frenches in a row. I hope you'll appreciate having a bit more of a French accent for 20 more minutes. I must say that each time I give a talk abroad, I have this bad feeling for the person that has to announce me. I have this terribly long name, and uh, a name that, you know, French people manage to say, but people outside of France really simply don't. And I work in a very international organization, so from Dominique Azel Massieu, I've just told people to simply call me Dan. The thing is, is, this international organization I work for is uh, WCC, the World Wide Web Consortium. So could I ask for a show of hands of who know what WCC is? Very quickly, just to... Okay, so that's a fairly good uh, amount of people. So WCC is a place where web technologies get defined and standardized. And so we've heard a lot about HTML5 so far, and that's uh, in WCC that HTML5 is being defined, as well as a number of other technologies that at least those of you that are developers will be very familiar with uh, CSS, JavaScript APIs, SVG, and so on and so forth. But there is one of these APIs that WCC has developed that, uh, again, developers will be very familiar with, and which is called uh, DOM, uppercase DOM. And, you know, my email address, as you can see here, is dom.rc.org, and in some cases, it's a good association. People tell me, you know, you have the coolest email address in the world. And, well, it's nice and short. And, you know, the DOM, it is this technology that enables you to do so many cool things on the web. It's an enabler, it's powerful. So that's the kind of association I like. Other people say, you know, the DOM, the WCC DOM, it is slow. It's not very efficient. It's fairly ugly. <laughs> and, you know, that's the kind of association I don't like as much. So to be on the safe side, I think, on Twitter, on GitHub, I'm known as Don't Call Me Dumb. Okay. <laughs> but that's really enough about my name and my contact information, although I hope you'll get uh, to make use of them. I'm here today to argue that we are hearing a lot about HTML5 and about the web. Uh, what I'm going to argue is that the web has a very specific role to play in this world of connected devices we're living in. We've all heard the expression, you know, we are in this post-PC array where uh, connection and uh, the shape and the diversity of devices is completely changing our interaction with our digital lives. And I guess the point I'm trying to make today, and uh, the point that for those of you that can't stand to hear 15 more minutes of a French accent could simply uh, recall, is that when it comes to getting user experiences on connected devices, the web is the platform. It's not one of many platforms, it's the only solution you can rely on. And I'm going to try to you know, explain this into more details and also try to illustrate it uh, with a few demos. Uh, one of these demos is uh, so experimental that it's likely the uh, demo, the gods of demo will, you know, strike me. So if you have any trick to, you know, get them on a good mood, uh, I would certainly ask you to start using these tricks now for the demos later uh, in this presentation. So, you know, we've heard already quite a, quite a few times in this uh, uh, conference that, you know, there is this struggle in the industry between iOS and Android, you know, trying to take the top of the podium. Some people would argue that, you know, iOS makes more revenues and uh, Android has more devices. And, you know, I'm sure that many of us are here today to get a feeling of where Tizen will fit in that podium. Uh, will it take the third spot? Will it, you know, even get higher on, on that podium? And, you know, Tizen is uh, fairly well positioned for that, for sure. It has pretty good backers. It has a lot of support from the industry. But, you know, if you look at what the press and the analysts uh, currently report, uh, if they had to put somewhere, something uh, on the third step, it would probably be, you know, HTML5, uh, which really is a shortcut for any cool web technology out there. And, you know, my day job in WCC is actually to look at what it takes to make the web 
um, you know, the best platform out there to develop on mobile devices. You know, being on the third step is not that bad. Um, many people would, you know, love to have their platform up there. Of course, it's not sufficient, as my boss always reminds me. Uh, we need to go up uh, one or, or two more steps, and I'm actively trying to get there. And one thing that I'm hoping to get out of this conference is a lot of feedback from you guys that are actually developing with HTML5 get me feedback on what is missing, what is making your life uh, more difficult than it ought to be compared to, to native applications. I'm right in the middle of this big WCC push in you know, trying to establish your uh, comparative advantages but also weakness compared to, to native applications. So, you know, all in all, uh, it's good, it could be better, we are working on making it better, but the third spot for the web is, is not a bad spot to be at. But what I'm actually going to argue today is that putting us on the third step is actually making a boundary error. It's looking at the wrong scope. You know, we've heard about Tizen targeting all these devices out there. We've heard about how Tizen brings, uh, you know, a real good uh, web rendering engine to the market. And we've also heard about the fact that, you know, in Tizen, Web applications are first-class citizens. It's not something you know you can run if you don't have any other choice. It is one of the primary platforms with which you build applications in Tizen. But the commitment that I think Tizen is making to that vision, to that to, to, to that goal, is even stronger than that based on you know my uh, vision of what's happening in WCC. Because you know it's very easy to do an open-source project. Many people have done that. Many people will do that. It's also very easy to make an open source project that is actually closed. It's very easy to associate the word open with an open, with, with a closed environment. And where Tizen, I think, is setting the bar very high is that it's not only that they are using HTML5 somewhere in that platform, it is that they are bringing to WCC all these you know, nice JavaScript APIs they need for their platform to get them standardized, to get them adopted by a, a much larger set of uh, uh, people in, in this field. So, you know, there are, basically there is only one other platform that is doing the same thing, it is Firefox OX, which, you know, right now is purely on mobile. And, you know, the on only other player that has made such a strong commitment to that vision is uh, Tizen as well. I certainly hope they will inspire many more to, to follow that suit, but I, I guess this is why I'm here, this is why I'm very strongly encourage you to play with this web application in the Tizen framework, get feedback to us, to WCC, to Tizen, on what we could do to improve. And thank you very much for your attention.